Hello, it's Joe here for Joyrider TV. And this is the next instalment of quick tips for catamaran sailors. So tip number one, are you outraged with the price of replacement tiller extensions for your boat? You don't need to be because you can make your own. First, if you sail a 16 or something similar and you don't want to spend quite a lot of money on a fiberglass tiller extension that might break the next time, what you can do is purchase a length of aluminium tube and then take from your old tiller extension the end fitting and just bolt it on to the aluminium tube and on the other end just to make it safe we've just put a bit of rope with some tape on it to make a nice end on there and this will cost you somewhere in the region of 15 euros that's not much money if you sail a boat like a former 18 or a tornado or something similar and it's important to have a carbon tiller extension. You can, of course, do this for the 16 as well. Then you could purchase a length of carbon tube. That's right, carbon tube. A length like this, two and a half meters long, will cost somewhere in the region of 40 euros. And then again, the same that we did with the aluminium one. We're just gonna put a fitting on the end. So here we've got a rubber universal joint or UJ uh, we've had to fill it a little bit to make it the right size to get that joint in there but then we've got a perfectly viable tiller extension which is very light very stiff and not expensive a real tiller extension bought from the shops already fitted will probably cost in excess of 100 euros that's right so some tips there Do you find that your traveller will not move? Then perhaps one of the reasons that your traveller will not move is because you have too much tension in your main sheet. If the main sheet is really tight, then it puts a lot of friction on the traveller. So if you're trying to adjust your traveller with a tight main sheet and it's not going, then Perhaps just ease off a little bit of main sheet and then it will move much easier. On this 16 we have got a roller bearing traveller. It's not the most sophisticated roller bearing traveller in the world but it has got bearings. Like on a Tiger or an F18 style boat there might be a proper roller bearing traveller which because it's got so many bearings in it it means you can adjust the traveller while the main sheet is under more load. Okay, at the other end of the scale, we have the older style traveler, which is basically a piece of plastic, which goes into the track. Now this type of traveler will jam very easily because there are no moving parts. With this type of uh, traveler, as well as the other types, it is well worth lubricating it with some silicon to make it move more easily. If you ever have problems with your mast not rotating, it may be because you have too much main sheet tension on. If the main sheet is pulled in tight, what that does as well as pulling the sail down is this is pushing the boom forwards, which will lock the mast into position. So if your mast isn't rotating, perhaps after a tack or a jibe, and you have got a lot of main sheet on, just ease off a little bit of main sheet that will take the pressure off the mast and allow it to rotate. How to put the trolley under your boat in the water single-handed. The most tricky bit here is going to be actually getting hold of the trolley. A few things you could do if there's a passerby with a dog or without a dog, you could ask the passerby to bring your trolley to the water's edge. If it's not particularly windy and the beach is quite friendly, you could just nudge the bow of the boat onto the beach to hold it, or otherwise you'll just have to make something up. But getting someone to help is definitely the easiest, or nudging the front of the boat onto the land. Oh, but here, in this situation, there happens to be a Hobie 16 trolley nearby. So I'm gonna put it under the boat. So I'm holding the boat at the front. This is another tip, always hold your boat at the front unless you want it to start sailing away. Even in light winds, you can lose hold of the boat if you don't have it at the front. All right, so I've turned, twisted the axle of the trolley round to get the cups in the right position. Then just putting the cups under the boat, pushing it under as far as possible. 
and then once we get to the point where pushing it becomes difficult we can either grab hold of the jib sheets or the writing line and take the foot and we're just going to push it under using the foot when it starts getting sticky just doing one side at a time just holding the dolphin striker here there we go what we like to do with our trolleys to prevent them slipping when we're pulling the boat out of the water is we have fairly long ropes attached to the outside of the trolley which we tie around the bridle wires and what that means is if you're pulling the boat out of the water forwards the trolley can't slip backwards which is quite annoying if it does happen. So there we go. The easiest way, this is another good reason to have these long ropes on here, is take these ropes and if you pull them so they're both tight but you're over to one side, you can get hold of one bow of the boat, perhaps a little wrap round the hand for a bit more purchase, lift the front of the boat and then you can just pull the trolley out like this. And now we're in the same situation. How do I get the trolley onto the beach and hold the boat? Well, there's absolutely zero wind here, so I'm just gonna let, leave the trolley floating while I go and hook the boat onto a mooring. We're very lucky to have moorings here. There we go, hooked on. She's gonna be happy and I can rescue the trolley before it goes up the beach. So thanks for watching. I hope this has been a useful collection of tips for your catamaran sailing needs. There'll be more coming up in the future, of course. If you want to help me make videos in the future, then uh, click on the link below to Patreon. And uh, that means that you can become a patron of the channel which will help me to make these videos, not physically, but financially, which is very helpful. Thank you very much.